Um, Bob Dye started uh, my guide career on Gray Reefs in Wyoming in 2002. The Colorado has always been my home river, so it was nice to come up here and be able to float the Colorado River. I've fished since I was 12 years old. The Colorado River is really the lifeblood of the Southwest. It's really one of the state's top freestone fisheries and a mixture of everything from walk wading to small atmosphere up in Rocky Mountain National Park to everything to the big water you see here and float trips. You know, the Blue Coangler is an awesome place, awesome people, awesome guides, and it's kind of just a good atmosphere to be part of all that. So you can start at the top with Pat, you know, the way he carries himself on the river and he expects that from a lot of his guides. Not only, you know, teaching people catching fish, but etiquette on a river. And in this day and age, uh, with as busy as everything is, etiquette's huge. Uh, we have a problem with it over here. Um, but I think Blue Quill kind of narrows into that and are more first class guides than a lot of shops, if you ask me. The biggest deal with floating is safety. You know, every day is different on a freestone, but you know, they'll get you in the fish and also have a safe day. The cool thing about a float trip is using the boat, you can curb a lot of your boat work to the skill of your angler. Whether they can cast at 40 yards or 10, you know, that's why you use a boat. It's a great tool. You know, we've ramped it up to the point where, you know, sometimes we're carrying six rods on the boat a day, nymph rods, dry droppers, streamers. The river's so diverse, you know, a lot of anglers can expect all three of those. You got a lot of water to work. And so you step out on the river and guys are in a lot of the holes. Cool, take pride in knowing the whole river. You got five miles to fish. It's a ticket to freedom, I think, with the boat, especially nowadays on heavily pressured rivers. But I've had a lot of my return clients will just stop and stop fishing and I'm like, what's wrong? And they go, we actually want to see the canyon today, Bob. So they're looking at the scenery and not fishing. Um, just a good way to spend the day in a boat. 